Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sara and I make life and style related content here on YouTube. So today I thought I would do a little bit of a casual chit chat video where I just have a conversation around some of the bags that I've been loving, specifically everyday bags. I'm currently on the lookout for a perfect everyday bag. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because I know that there's so many different bags out there, but just a really good everyday slouchy bag that I can kind of put everything, all my essentials in plus more. I basically want a bag that if I go to the grocery store, I can put in a second little grocery bag in there just so I can put all my fruit and veggies or whatever I buy in there. And then also have a little book in there, maybe a notebook, a little pen, like my camera. And honestly, I just want a bag that I can put everything in and then also just throw stuff in there and then just leave. And something that also looks really cute at the same time. A bit interesting, a little bit stylish, just kind of maybe adds to the outfit a little bit. I also have a lot of black bags which I've noticed so I'm kind of leaning a little bit more towards maybe a brown or like a camel color bag just to kind of switch it up a little bit and because the seasons are getting a little bit colder here in Australia I think it would just be really cute with maybe if I'm already wearing like a black coat or maybe a camel color trench coat just something that would look really good with any outfit that I want to wear every day. I've actually got a few different bags here on my laptop that I've just kind of been saving maybe over the past month or so. I'm just going to go through them and talk about them and I'll link everything down in the description box below if there's anything that you want to buy yourself or if it's something that you've been looking for. So the first bag that I really, really, really wanted, it is the Saint Agni Woven Mini Tote Bag. And specifically, I like the chocolate color. I just think that the brown is a little bit softer. I feel like it's less shiny and I don't know, it just looks a little bit softer, which I like. There's only one size for both colors and it is currently on pre-order. So I think on the website, you can only pre-order and it does dispatch in April. But I have seen the black bag in person and I did take some photos or videos. So I might have that on the screen. And I love this bag. I think it was very, like the perfect size. You could fit a lot in it. You could put a little pouch in there for some of your lip products as well. It is lined as well. So nothing will kind of get through the woven um, pattern of the bag. I also liked where it kind of came down on my shoulder as well. Obviously when I was trying it on, there was nothing in the bag, but I did like how it kind of felt on my shoulder. But the only thing is that they had the black bag in person and I guess that was a blessing in disguise because I didn't get it and maybe it would have been the wrong purchase at the time. So I'm still considering this one. I'm just going to wait and see which one is probably my favorite and which one I think will be the most practical as well. The only other thing with this bag is that I kind of want a bag that has either a zipper or a way that you can kind of close it. And this bag is fully open. It does have a little magnetic closure, but it isn't very strong and I know that Sarah Gray, I was watching her TikTok because she's also here on YouTube, I was watching her TikTok, she has a brown bag and it looks so good. I think that I was watching so many of her videos and she did like what's in my bag and different styling videos and I love how it looks. The only thing is, and she did say it was one of her thorns as well, is that it doesn't really stay closed. The magnetic um, closure is not strong at all and I guess I think she mentioned also it does seem like it's not made very strong so that it doesn't kind of destroy the leather that it's sitting with. So for that reason, it will open up as soon as you put in a few things in the bag. So for that reason, I am still thinking about this bag. And if I come across something that is similar or if they bring out one similar to that, but has a zip or some kind of closure system, I will definitely consider that as well. But this is definitely a bag that I love. The next bag that I really like and is very similar in terms of kind of style, I guess, um, kind of like that slouchy, effortless, everyday bag. It is the Small Victoria Tote by Reformation and they have so many different colors. I think you can get some more colors on, I forget which website it is, but they also have a lot of colors, a lot of suede and all that. So I love this bag. I like it in the small size as well. I like that kind of size and I think it's so pretty. I love the little tie up detail. I think it just gives a little bit of like a feminine touch to the bag. Very cute. I love the black leather. 
and I know I said I didn't want the black and so I would probably toss up between black maybe the green I know that they've got some kind of green color I love this one but for the same reason as the Saint Agni bag I I'm not so keen that it doesn't close up fully and that there's no zip or some kind of way just to kind of really keep it closed. I feel like you could, someone could probably still put their hand in there and still manage to open or if it's raining, I feel like things would just get in there. The next bag that I found that I really love, it's a little bit different, not really exactly what I'm looking for, but I thought it would be worth putting it in this video because I just think it would be such a nice everyday bag that fits quite a lot as well is the Hera handbag in suede gray and they've also got another color as well. It's on a website called Flattered and I only saw this yesterday. I thought it would be worth putting it in here but this is such a beautiful bag. I love this color. It's kind of like a like a gun gray. I don't even know how to describe it but I think it's so pretty, it's so beautiful. I know it is in suede, but I feel like it would hold up really well. And I like this one also because it does have a way that it does close. So it's not fully open. And I like how they, I like how you can keep it on your arm or you can have a crossbody as well. But I don't know if it would really necessarily go over the shoulder. And I think it is a bit more of a top handle crossbody type of bag, but I really love this one. And I thought it was very beautiful and definitely something I might consider. The next bag that I really like is the Naomi Hobo bag in brown from the website called Pedro. This is such a pretty bag. I love the kind of like double strap that it has and the little silver buckle, as well as the shape. I feel like that would just sit so beautifully on the shoulder and around kind of your body. And I really like this one. It also comes with a little pouch inside that you can kind of put all your little valuable items in there. Again, I think it's a magnetic closure, but it does look a little bit more structured where it'd be a little bit harder to kind of open it up, especially as you're wearing it. But this is definitely something I would be considering. It is so beautiful. It has, they've got it in the black and then they've also got it in a chalk color, which is kind of a textured bag as well. So I think my favorite would be, as you might guess already, the brown color, just because I love how that kind of looks. And I think this is a really pretty bag and definitely one of the options that I'm going to consider in my next bag purchase. The next bag is the Capri shoulder bag by Lewenhide. I think that's what they're called. And I think they're an Australian brand. They are also sold on the Iconic as well. And I really like the color chocolate for this bag. They do have two other colors as well, but again, I'm really looking for that kind of chocolatey brown color bag. I love this one. It's kind of the perfect slouchy shoulder bag. I love how it looks like you could fit a lot of stuff in there and just be able to zip it up and off you go. I like how it looks kind of hanging off the arm, but also specifically from the shoulder as well, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I love the strap. I like how that's thick. I feel like it'd be really comfortable and just kind of slouchy. It is a little bit cheaper than the other bags because it is not leather, but it is definitely a good option if you don't want to spend too much money on an everyday bag as well. This bag will definitely be something that I'm going to consider. I think it's just a really good everyday bag and I've seen some videos on TikTok as well about this bag and I love how it sits on the shoulder and just the color and how it looks with an outfit as well. The next bag that I really like is from Massimo Duty and it is the split leather shoulder bag. This one I really like in this kind of brown camel, little bit yellow orange tone, but I think this is so pretty. I feel like it would just wear really nicely and even if it did have some discoloration, it would look really nice just because of the tones in the bag. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like it's not it doesn't look perfect, so if you did wear it, it would just kind of maybe age really nicely. They've also got it in a really, really dark chocolate brown, which I think I would also consider. It's not really black, it's just very dark, but I do like the first color as well. So the only problem with this is I can't see what it looks like on a person. I couldn't really find how it looks on the shoulder, if it even is a shoulder bag, but I think I think it is. And I like the really, really thick buckle. I love the detailing, the silver detailing, and also like how it does have that closure as well. The next bag that I really love also from the same brand is the braided Nappa leather bag. So 
This one, I love it in this chocolate color as well. They also have a lighter brown as well, but I love this as well. It's also that kind of woven style and it really reminds me of the first St. Agni bag that I loved. Next to the person in the photos, it does look pretty decent size that it would fit a lot and it also it looks like it'd be comfortable with that kind of little bit of a thicker shoulder strap. It kind of has that like basket braided look to it but it just looks really chic and sleek and I just think this is really pretty. Next bag that I've been really loving and I've seen some people wear this as well on Instagram and Pinterest and TikTok is by Anthropology and it's the Bridget Satchel by Melly Bianco. I really like this one. I like the black and they have quite a few different colors as well. And it just looks like a really cute everyday bag. It has that woven style as well. And it's a little bit shinier. The only thing with this bag is that I have seen a lot of people say that the inside lining does kind of, it doesn't last very well. So that's just one thing to look out for, but it is a very cute bag and it does kind of remind me of like a Bottega type of um, bag inspired by them but um, it is a very cute bag and I do like this one as well as an option but I don't know if it's really super high on my list just because I'm not sure about the quality I don't really want to buy something just for the sake of buying it and I want to know that it will last at least you know some time and if not forever so definitely on my list but maybe not as high as some of the other bags that I've shown you. Another bag that I really love from an Australian brand as well is the Penny Hobo bag from Oriton. I love this bag. I just think it's so beautiful. I love the shape of it. I love the detailing. I love the inside lining as well. It looks very luxurious and I love that you can wear it kind of off over crossbody, kind of like a Uniqlo kind of crossbody bag. I think it would fit quite a nice amount of things in it and it just I love the way it looks. I think it would go with any outfit and they do have some different colorways as well. The last bag that I want to show you is the Caroline Hobo, also from Aritent. I love the color Bear Brown that they've got and they've also got another color called Paper White, but the Bear Brown is so pretty. I've seen it in person. They've got two sizes. I've got a really cute mini one that still fits quite a bit, but I think the bigger size would fit more and be a bit more appropriate for what I'm looking for. I love the strap of this and I love that it's a little bit adjustable and also it does have a zipper and then a flap that kind of goes over the, over the top of it. It's such a beautiful bag. It's definitely high up on my list. I feel like it would just look beautiful with any outfit and it does also come with a crossbody strap that you can kind of strap to it and then you just kind of have the shoulder strap there as well. I guess you could like put it down or put it inside the um, the flap of the bag, but I love that it's versatile and honestly this bag is so pretty and Oriton does really good quality bags as well I've got a few Oriton bags and I love them. So this one's definitely high up on my list So that's all the bags that I've come across recently and been loving and saving and I thought I would share them with you in case You're also looking for any perfect everyday bag let me know which one was your favorite and if you've seen any other bags online that you think would be really good to add to the list, I would love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.